All right, so now we have our files the way we want, and last but not least, we're just going to get those exported as STL files so that we can print them. So we're at step seven, generate final STL files. If you look in our folder, you're gonna see there's a file called 01 to do generate STL mesh mixer file. So let's open that up together. And we're gonna, the goal is to generate a skull cap STL file, a skull base STL file, and then finally an STL file for the dowel that we're going to print out four different times so that we can snap the skull together with the dowels. So double click on that mesh mixer file and open up our model. And let's just go ahead and show everything for now. So in my object browser you can see that I've selected skull cap. And that's important because when we go to file export there's really no way to tell what you're exporting, but you're exporting what you have selected. If you had selected all three of them, it would export an STL file containing all three of those models. So I'm going to export to our final step, and I'm going to call it skullcap.stl. And you, you will get these errors, especially with uh, you know models generated from CTs. They're not going to be perfect. I haven't run into a problem with printing them yet, so go ahead and export it. And if you go back to the folder, you can see there's now a skullcap.stl folder. Um, that'll be available to you through the uh, Google Drive folder, uh, neurorad.link slash skullfiles. Okay, let's export a dowel. I'll export dowel.stl and let's export the skull base. Export skullbase.stl. Again, we get an error message. There we go. So let's just make sure it worked. We can uh, open up our skullbase STL file in Mesh Mixer. This will take just a second, and there it is, just our skull base, our skull cap, and finally a tiny dowel, somewhere, there it is. And so those are ready to be sent to a printer, and uh, that concludes our whole tutorial. Thanks for listening.